And with me now to go through it, through how it went, are my fantastic panel, Baroness Jenny Chapman, Shadow Minister at the Cabinet Office, and Derek Thomas, Conservative MP for West Cornwall and the Isles of Scilly. I hope I got it right that time, Derek. Um, right, OK, let's look at the, the leader's strongest lines there. Uh, Derek, the argument that Keir Starmer was prosecuting was that we have the highest tax burden under a Conservative government for 70 years. Does that make you feel uncomfortable as a Conservative when a Labour leader prosecutes that line? Mm. Well, it makes me uncomfortable full stop because absolutely is what we don't believe in. But, so, but Rishi and the Prime Minister, the Chancellor and the Prime Minister have made it clear to us that they'll do everything they can to get back on top of, to drive taxes down and drive up wages as soon as we possibly can. I mean, it is true that we threw a huge amount of money, fundamental amounts of money, as much as Second World War, I think, uh, tackling COVID. Now, we might have regretted some of that, and some of it might probably wasn't spent that well. But we are in that situation now. We've got to get out of it. And we do need to keep public services working. And the, what we don't want is a return to austerity where we actually strip public services that are so badly need in our constituency of cash to operate. So I don't... I don't want to tolerate high taxes. We've got to get on top of it quickly. We need to find a way of raising, raising money as much as possible from the right people. But it's so, so actually, Rishi and Boris both have something to prove to, their, to us MPs that they can do this, they can deliver. OK. And, Jenny, the Prime Minister's uh, strongest line in response was that help is on the way when it comes to energy bills, that they have lifted the living wage to a record amount, that they're getting people back into work, that their record stands for itself? I mean, they just need to get out there into the real world and speak to real people. I mean, if you go shopping at the moment, you see the things that people buy, like just simple things like pasta, milk, bread, you know, all of those things, the level, the, the, the increases in price of those items is just you know, a packet of pasta that was 35 pence is now 80 pence, things like that. It's having a real impact. What's happening with the cost of fuel, with energy prices, people's bills going up, their pay has not kept pace with that. And it's really, really hurting. And help is on its way. Great. But let's see it because, you know, it's no good at coming in six months a year. People need it now.